She did not make it that time. That was rough. What's up, guys? Eric, I've got the Arma Creighton 8S. I'm gonna uh, be giving this baby a run. She's uh, got some more, uh, some more upgrades on her, some more prototype uh, upgrades from M2C Racing. Uh, first of all, uh, the shock shafts right here, which are, uh, if you can see it in there, it's a seven millimeter shaft. Also with a 7075 uh, shock rod end, so which is going to be the icing on the cake in my opinion in upgrades. And also, uh, if you can see it in there, the uh, drive shaft as well, which these are still uh, prototypes and we're still working the kinks out. Uh, but stuff should be uh, uh, coming released here pretty soon, so we'll definitely keep you guys updated. Um, I've already put a run on these shocks, and so far, get this body off. So far, they're holding up good. This truck also has the uh, new EXB uh, front bumper and uh, tires, and also the rear links right here, which is another huge upgrade. Uh, that's really saved uh, saved me a lot right there, because you know the RTR links like to uh, the rod ends like to smash in and pull out and stuff like that. So that's just uh, one last thing I got to worry about now. Uh, everything else in here is complete M2C racing, completely beefed up. It's got the uh, Max 5 840 KV Hobby Star motor, uh, 3434 gearing. And also, I'm running uh, RPM arms in the rear now. Uh, and RPM, uh, for some reason, did not put a, a spot right here for a droop screw. So I'm going to show you real quick what I did to uh, remedy that, uh, uh, to, give it, to give it some droop control in the back. All right, guys, I pulled a shock so I can kind of show you what I did real quick. Uh, and also, this gives you a nice shot of the big beefy 7075 shock rod end. Again, this is a prototype end, and the uh, finished product have a little bit rounder edge on it. Uh, but And it's got the uh, the Delrin uh, bushing right there, which is holding up really nice. So what I did is I made a shock limiter, basically, to uh, limit the uh, down travel uh, of the shock using these O-rings right here. Oh, got a battery finished. <laughs> Uh, this is from M2C Racing also. So what I figured out is uh, four O-rings inside the uh, in, inside the uh, uh, shock body was the perfect amount of droop uh, to uh, counter-react not having droop screws on the RPM arms right here. I just really wanted to try these arms out. Um, I'm going to probably uh, put a set on the front too and then use the, uh, use the droop uh, control inside the shock right here. So, so far it's working out really good. All right, guys, going to give her another quick uh, beat down. Uh, again, uh, having, having the uh, shocks upgraded, uh, and also the drive shafts, in my opinion, is going to be the icing on the cake for this truck just to make it damn near bulletproof. So we're going to give her uh, another quick run, see what's up. Lost power. That's a shock shaft test. I think that I uh, disconnected my motor. All right, guys, on that hard vertical fall, my uh, motor lead came loose from the ESC, which is no big deal. Just plugged it back in. Just want to check the uh, shock shafts real quick. It's probably hard to catch in the camera, but they are perfectly straight so far. And that was a that was a pretty hard uh, pretty hard slap down here. So they're holding up good. Uh, rod ends look good too. Right, guys i'm gonna try to clear this uh, death pit right here it's it's pretty deep it's got a drain down there so i'm gonna try to uh i'm gonna hit this mound right here and see if we'll clear it oh yeah she made it <laughs> oh <laughs> she did not make it that time that was rough i must have catch the ca caught the lip of the hill there uh now we got to go 10 feet underground here. 
<clears throat> Looks like the shocks held up on that one. Yep, shocks and the shafts. Still good to go. Now let's see if we can get out of here. Oh guys, that was LVC. <laughs> that was a blind landing, but she made it. Oh, that was close. Right, guys that's gonna be it for now let's uh for the first test on these shocks let's check them out real quick they took a pretty good beating and uh so far they are still perfectly straight i'll pull this camera off so you guys can get a little bit uh, closer closer picture of it see the uh 70 75 shock rod in down in there too which is done flawless everything's held up perfect we'll flip to the front Everything looks perfect there too. The nice uh, Delrin uh, uh, cartridges look look good. Everything's holding up, no leaks. So again, huge shout out to a Mitchell Looper from M2C Racing for his uh, constant drive and and, uh, and beefcaking these things up even more. But anyways, a whole lot of fun, and we'll get out again soon. A uh, huge shout out again to Arma Horizon Hobby and M2C Racing, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. RC Dude 81, peace out.